Mwah! Enchanté, baby. Mwah! Enchanté. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Guess what? Today we are at Wendy's. Wendy's. Back again at Wendy's. I'm very excited for this one, guys. I am very excited about this one because we are doing... Wendy's have... Look at the hands. Look at the hands. Did you ever do that as a kid? Did you ever go... What was that? My grandma, Mimi, little Mimi. This this is the church. This is the steeple. Open the door, see all the people. Wasn't that cute to do? That just made me think of that. Now I'm all emotional. Oh my. Anyway, <clears throat> we are um, we're at Wendy's because they have a new collaboration. It is the 25th, guys, anniversary of SpongeBob SquarePants. And they have a collaboration meal that is out. And it is probably... As far as some of the collaboration collaborations go, this is probably one of the most talked about, one of the most requested that I've gotten. I've gotten a lot of, of requests for this one to do this, and uh, one of the one of the most talked about that I'm hearing that I'm hearing about. So I want to tell you about it. It is the Krabby Patty collab meal. Uh, Behold, mateys! Behold, mateys! Is what it says. And it is a, uh, a quarter pound fresh, never frozen beef patty, two slices. They said one wasn't enough. One, one is one, not for square, not for square bob, not for square bob. One is not enough. Two slices of American cheese, lettuce, crisp, always crisp, tomato, pickle, onion. Super special secret sauce, which kind of am thinking that it's a basic Thousand Island sauce. All right, that's kind of what the impression that I've been getting is. All right, served on a toasted bun that they say would make Dave Thomas as well as Eugene Krabs proud. And it also comes with a medium fry, and it comes with a pineapple, pineapple, upside down, under the sea, frosty, which is a vanilla frosty with pineapple puree on the bottom. Now, that's what the website said, but what I am hearing upon the research is that it's pineapple mango. So, we're going to taste it. We're going to taste it, baby, and we're going to find out. Now, please, guys, I want you to do something for me. I would like you to take this moment right now. If you haven't, please do. If you have, all chante. Would you please like and subscribe to the channel? We are in October. We are trying to get to a thousand. Sweet mystery of love, at last I found you. We are trying to get to a thousand to make all the dreams come true. We're just trying to get to a thousand. So please like and subscribe, share with your family and friends, and um, I will do whatever it takes for you to get to that thousand mark and make you happy. If you want complete nudity, oh yeah, baby. We can start taking all the clothes off for you. We can start taking all the clothes off if you'd like me to put all the clothes back on, which I'm assuming most of you are suggesting right now, we can do that as well. <laughs> I'm the only guy out there that has an OnlyFans page where people pay me um, to put my clothes back on. And I don't have an OnlyFans page, I'm just joking. <laughs> do you know what Le Cherie would do to me? <laughs> Le Cherie, the great Le Cherie, the woman who recommends, do you know what, I, before I get to the food, do you know what book, was the very first book I read. This this says a lot about luxury. I got a couple of stories I want to share to you about luxury, but one of the ones that I wanted to tell you about. So when I was a kid, I was an avid reader. I loved reading. And subsequently, as an adult, I hate it now. Isn't that weird how that happens? But the very first book I wanted you to tell you was a book that was recommended to me by La Cherie. It was the first real novel, adult novel I ever read. Hence the word adult novel. La Cherie recommended it because she had read it. Barbara Gordon, I'm dancing as fast as I can. 
Why? Why? Do you, do you guys know what that's about? Jill Clayburgh did a movie in 1981. Very good. The book is unbelievably intense about a woman who pretty much has everything on the East Coast and becomes um, addicted to, to drugs, addicted to uh, pain meds, severe anxiety. Uh, magnifique book, by the way, if you haven't read it. Uh, Barbara Gordon. Um, Eight-year-old? La Chevrolet. Anyway. Hey, let's get down to the food, baby. So, these guys are so great. This collaboration doesn't really come with a special bag. Just here she is, the Wendy gal. Does come with something that is very cute that the Trent loved, baby. By the way, you like my shirt, the denim shirt? I'm digging this today. Got it with uh, just a 501s, a little darker 501 right here. Um, just wanted to show you that. So, comes with these stickers. I love stickers. Le Trent loves stickers. Got the Krabby Patty stickers. You got SpongeBob up here. This is awesome. This is all for the 25th anniversary of SpongeBob, which I think is cool that they did this and they gave this to me. They are so great at this Wendy's. They're so nice to me. The manager is so cool here. I need to get his first name. Next time I do something here, we're gonna, they got a boo bag coming out here soon. They're they're really throwing that Halloween stuff out too here, left and right. We're gonna do um, soon. We're gonna do um, we're gonna do the the burger the Burger King. Oh, nice cough. Um, guy just walks by. <coughs> there he is. There he goes. Look at that guy right there. Right there. There he is. There he is. That guy just walks by like this. <coughs> No, no covering the mouth. <laughs> Just like that, you know. Obviously not Cary Grant's. Cary Grant's son, Judy, Judy, Judy. Judy, I love you, Liza Doolittle. Yes, I do. I love you, Liza Doolittle. Judy, Judy. That ain't his kid, by the way, obviously. Uh, anywho, back to this SpongeBob. So, um, yeah, we'll do uh, burger. There's a lot of stuff out right now. They got the McDonald's, got the um, chicken burger, a uh, chicken Big Mac. Wendy's um, Burger King's got their um, Wendy Adams purple. Looks cool. So, but we are, we ain't talking about that, baby. We are talking about SpongeBob. So, we got. Uh, medium fry. Boy, this looks like a larger than medium fry here, guys. That's what this comes with. I think they kind of take care of me here at this one. They're sweet. Let's taste these medium fries. Give this a taste here. I didn't get, damn it. I didn't get any dipping sauce, and they didn't put any ketchup in the bag. Some bitch. Damn it. I love ketchup. Don't you? I love it. Let's try the fries. And they are really good. Son of a bitch. These would be really good with some ketchup, guys. These are really nice. Very fresh. Very well seasoned again. Should have asked for it. Didn't go through the drive-thru because it was really busy. Man, those are good. Nicely, nicely cut. French fry, well seasoned. Nothing worse. Nice and Wendy's French fries stay hot for some reason. They seem to stay hot. As I jab my teeth, did you see that? Oh, uh, jab. Did I tell you? Oh, I neglected to tell you this. I had a girlfriend that looked like SpongeBob. I did. People would tell her that too. People would tell her that she looked like SpongeBob. She had like, she was so cute. Oh my God, she was cute. We went, I, it's okay. We went out for 11 years. You know, it's my le most long-term relationship. She hates me. 
I don't know why. She's that girl, I, I think I said something about her one time. I saw her at a wedding last summer. She didn't even talk to me. Wouldn't even speak to me. Would not even speak to me. I, I, it's not like I like, I've never like hit a woman in my life. And it didn't, um, I don't know, whatever. I, women, I don't know, it's crazy. So, anyway, she looked like SpongeBob Square, square Pants. I used to call her SpongeBob Square Cooch. I did, yeah. She is so cute. She's so cute, too. When I saw her at the wedding, I was so happy to see her. She was so unhappy to see me. Um, I don't know. I, I didn't think I would even be happy to see her, but I just was kind of overjoyed to see her. Just And she's just so beautiful, I think. And, um, yeah, she looked like Squ SpongeBob SquarePants. She had big blue eyes like that. Always had, like, the happiest big smile. And then when I saw her at the wedding, she was, like, all disgruntled looking. Like, all bitter and, like, angry and, like, filled with rage. Just like, damn. What am I doing this for? What's this about? I'm going to get on with these damn fries. My God, they're really good. Their fries are outstanding. So we got the, we got this, we went over the details, you know, we got the special sauce on it, the secret sauce, the super special secret sauce served on, on a toasted bun with uh, the, the, the ground beef, the two slices of cheese, the lettuce, the tomato, the pickles, the onion. We'll see how it looks. The fragrance in the car is amazing, by the way, from it. Oh, it looks looks nice. You got onion. Oh yeah, here we go, baby. Look at that. Oh yeah, yeah. Now a lot of people I have noticed online are talking about their level of disappointment with this. They feel that they are could that the collaboration with this could have been something better. Could have been something more oriented I guess a, around the TV show that they they felt around something more unique uh, I full disclosure I am not that familiar with this show I don't know it well in fact I don't actually know that I've ever watched a full episode of it can't tell you the characters names I, I guy guys I'm really sorry about that maybe you guys in the description below can tell me if you've had this and what you think of it has it was it a disappointment for you? Should there have been a sandwich that came from from that restaurant that's at the bottom of the sea there that would have been more like what it should have been? I don't know, you know. So um, all I know is that I think this looks good, and we're going to taste this sauce. And what we are going to do right now is that we are going to indulge, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to indulge. Enchanté, enchanté. Whoa! No napkins. Thank, thank goodness I brought my own. Okay. Wow, that is um. That is not your Thousand Island. Try this again. That sauce is a little bit hot. It is a little bit peppery. Was not expecting that. I was expecting more of a sweet sauce, to be honest with you. More of something a little bit more, um, well, just your basic Thousand Island. That's what I thought. The cheese is extremely good on this. The bun is nice. Nice and warm bun. Let me see if I can get like part of this with the lettuce and the tomato and onion all at once.
Guys, taste-wise, that's really good. I love the taste of that. I love the sauce on that, too. It's a different, it's different than just your, it's not a Big Mac. Somebody was saying it's just a glorified Big Mac sauce. I, it's much more, it's much more robust than that. Much more robust in flavor. I think. Much more. It has, um, all the ingredients taste very fresh on that. You, you taste the, the lettuce, the tomato. Sauce is very, very nice on it. I think it complements it well. I do. Has a, has a unique taste. Little bit of heat. The kind of heat that accentuates all the flavors together. Um, different than an in and out sauce. Different than a Big Mac sauce, I think. A different... A different Thousand Island sauce. I keep calling it that because it, it looks like that because it's a pink. It's a mayonnaise and tomato color, you know. Uh, but it's it's unique. I think it's I think it's damn good. I think it's really good actually. This this Wendy's, I don't know. I mean it tastes it it, it seems everything here whenever I come here, hamburger wise or cheeseburger wise, it, they all seem so fresh tasting. Uh, and I like it. And I and I think that I think that was very good. Again, I do not know uh, the level of disappointment that I hear that people feel that this was a letdown. Um, to uh, to the 25th anniversary of of SpongeBob. So you guys tell me that, please. I know that some of you guys on the channel here have to be some spongebob fans let me know that and also guess what they gave me here look what they gave me also they gave me a wendy's apron they were so cool here too so let me give you some prices on this the um the krabby patty and that, that was a single that i got was 12 the the whole meal was uh 12.89 okay Twelve eighty nine, and then uh, yeah, it was twelve eighty nine for everything. Oh, and then I got it, and then I got a, I, I got a drink. They didn't have tab, of course, but I got a, I got a drink there, which I'm going to take a little drink right here before we go into the frosty, and we're going to taste that. So again, I do want to remi remind everybody that I am having a little plastic surgery tomorrow, some surgery. I am not having it with Dr. Chan, only because my insurance is covering this. Dr. Chan is the premier cosmetic surgeon in Happy Valley. <clears throat> it doesn't, this is not, this is, I, I, I well, just, let me, let me get through this, and then when I come back, I'll be back in a week, maybe even sooner. I'm gonna try, to, I'm going to try my, my best to do a video Sunday. I don't th know or think if I can. I, I'm not, a, I don't really, I, I, this has been a difficult, the whole process to kind of have this procedure done has been rather difficult. It's basically kind of a body enhancement thing that I'm doing uh, with the hospital. I'm going to talk about it more when it's over. I just feel it would be better to do that then, if you don't mind. Um, yeah, so, but I'm going in tomorrow at 5.15 a.m. to the hospital. I was scheduled to spend the night. I haven't heard back from them about it, so I don't quite know. I know Le Jodin will be there. Um, and, of course, Cher, Sherry's like... What time do I pick you up? Where's what's the details? My time is valuable. Well, we all know that. We all know that your time is valuable, Sherry. Nobody makes more money than you do. Your time is valuable, La Sherry. So she's taking me. And I Le Jodan will be and my manager Scott. If I'm staying there, he's going to be there. 
But I, I, I don't know what to tell these guys because I don't even know if I'm spending the night in the hospital yet. You know, and it screws their schedule up because they have lives, you know. But we'll go from there. So they're both great guys. Love them both. Scott B., the manage, my manager, and uh, Le Jardin. And so, and they both say hello. So, Oh, and La Cherie wanted me to tell you all hello. La Cherie says she wanted me to tell you all hello, and she wanted me to tell you that she loves you. So, yeah, there you go. So, hopefully there's going to be a new, hopefully I'll be able to, but plan on me being gone for a week, guys, and I will miss you immensely. If you want to write me or anything like that, I got a P.O. box. You want to send me any gifts. I'm not one of these guys that's going to send, say, you know, you don't have to send me a gift. You don't bring me flowers. You don't sing me love songs. Send anything you want. Anyway, I got a P.O. box. You know, you know that. I'll put the details in the, in the, whatever it is that I do, the description, right? And I'll put that in there. So you send whatever you want. Rolex, Omega. Tasteful nudes, Penny. And George. Just joking. <laughs> hint, hint, Walter. Just joking. What is wrong with me? I'm in a good mood today, sorry. Tasteful nudes. Uh-oh, something embraces, something embraces. Tasteful nudes, Coco, not joking. <laughs> what is this? What am I, Mark's brother? Jeez. Anyway. Let me, let me give it let me give just a quick taste of this on top see it's got the puree on the bottom did you like that that was very funny now I'm laughing in my head tasteful nudes penny and George mm. oh, savage anyway love her love penny and George Enchanté to both of you guys I love you guys so much I know you guys are busy I hope you're watching so anyway. Let's get this. Uh, this is the uh, pineapple. What, what we got here? What did I say? What did I say, geek guys? The the pineapple under the sea. Van basically, the vanilla frosty with mango and pineapple. Let's taste on top. Oh, refreshing! Refreshing, people. Nice. Yes. Now we see there's a lot of the puree on the bottom here. Let's get let's get down to this. Let's give this a stir ever so gently. Ever so gently. Gently. Just like I am with my women. Gently. But rough. When needed to be, upon request. Speaking of requests, I got requests for Johnny Depp stuff, all right? I'm going to do a little Johnny Depp for you. This one time and one time only. Only because I'm feeling in a very, very good mood today. So some, this is a request from people on Penny's channel. To do a couple Johnny Depp impressions. One of them being... <clears throat> where's the rum? Somebody tell me where is the rum? Does anybody know what has exactly happened with the rum? My favorite part is when he says in a Pirates of the Caribbean movie, and I, I believe it is when um, the woman whatever her name is, is burning all the rum. And he like softly says to her, he's like, why are, why are you burning? Why are you burning everything? Why, why are you burning the rum? And she's like, because rum is for degenerates and scum and villainy. And he's like, yes, but why the rum? And he says it so softly like that. I love that. I love what he does that. And then... This is Hunter S. Tom Johnny Depp as Hunter S. Thompson. So this is my favorite one. 
We were 63 miles outside of Los Angeles before the heavy drugs kicked in. I like that. That, that was good. That, that was one of my favorite movies. And what else is there? And then there's Johnny Depp as... Um, Johnny Depp as... What is it? Willy Wonka? Uh, what does he do there? Good morning, Starshine. The world says hello. Great. And then what else is there? There is the other one. Oh, Ed Wood. I like to wear women's clothes. No, I'm all man. I even fought in WW2. But I was terrified of parachuting because I was afraid that they would find out that underneath my garments, I was wearing women's panties. That's such a great movie, Ed Wood. It's such a great movie. So, all right, let's taste this again now that this is all stored up. So th those are some Johnny Depp, some of them. That, 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 uh, when he's like Hunter S. Thompson, that was, the, th those were so great. I love that so much. Did you ever hear him when he was talking about Debbie Reynolds? Debbie was in rough form before we got kicked out. When they're kicked out of the, they're kicked out of a Debbie Reynolds concert in Las Vegas. I love that. I love that. Benicio del Toro is so fantastic in that as well. Yeah, mixed up. It doesn't taste any different, guys. No different. It's just it's just good. I'm digging it. That was a good. That was very good. Listen, I have got to tell you guys something. I have got to tell you that I don't know what people were expecting from SpongeBob Score Cooch, but all I can tell you is that taste wise, I thought that was quite delicious. What, what, what ha have you noticed that every time I'm here at Wendy's, there's some sort of fire truck that goes by? They don't apparently know that the train is doing a review. Move along, bitch! Get along, little blueberry critter. Go save lives. Apparently, they don't know that I'm in the middle of doing something very important here, right? You know, talking to you. So anyway, let's get down to a score here. On a scale of 1 to 10, the collaboration with... The Krabby Patty collaboration meal from Wendy's. I am going to give that a solid eight. No, enchanté to the eight. Enchanté. I thought I thought it was very good. Go to your Wendy's and try the collaboration. Get your stickers. Uh, don't expect a lot of fanfare when it comes to the bag because you're not going to get it. It's just going to be a Wendy's bag. The frosty, very refreshing, very tropical in taste. The the hamburger with the double cheese. Very good. Very good. That sauce. Let me know what you think of that sauce. It's very unique tasting. I thought it really stood out. Very different from what I've had at other restaurants, other fast food restaurants. Let me know what you think. So anyway, I took a little longer with this video and I rambled a little bit more because I wanted to spend a little extra time with you because I may or may not see you for a little while. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful week. Maybe I'll see you Sunday. Uh, maybe not, but, uh, I will see you very shortly. You will always, you always are. You guys are always in my prayers. I love you so much. Please again, take a, take the opportunity to like and subscribe. Only way we can build a channel, get this network of love, network of love going like we do. Maybe I'm amazed, you know, at the way you love me all the time. Um, but that's, that's what we can do. So like the great Elvis Presley said in 1977, we will meet you again. May God bless you. Adios. Try it out. Try the, the Krabby Patty collab, 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 Krabby Patty collab meal at Wendy's. Let me know what you think. I love you. Tell me you love me because I need constant affirmations apparently, which I really don't. But I want to tell you one more time that I love you. Mwah. And I look forward to seeing you soon. You make my life so much better by being in it. Mwah!
and I will talk to you soon, you beautiful, beautiful people, you, and I love you. Bye-bye. Mwah.